<laughs> hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. I've been telling the whole cast tonight, Timothy Simons, long time no see. I feel like I'm living with you guys at this yeah, moment. Yeah, right? Um, you and Patton Oswalt, first of all. That might be the greatest thing I think I've ever seen. Building that chemistry, because pa Patton couldn't be any more opposite than you as a human being and as a character on the show, yeah. building that chemistry with Pat and talk to me about it. Well, we actually, he was one of the first people uh, to kind of publicly talk about the show when it first came out. Like he got the screeners of season one kind of early and was on K-Rock in LA and was on Twitter talking about it. And we live close by to each other in LA. So we had actually met a few years ago and then uh, kind of, you know, become friends-ish. Like we see each other around the neighborhood and. Uh, we would say hi, so we kind of knew each other going in, so it was nice to have like a base of chemistry there when he showed up. Because I love, I love Patton Oswalt, and I, I think he's massively funny. Uh, so it was, it was nice to have that right from the beginning. Um, but then if you're going to be that close with somebody, uh, if you're going to be in that sort of circumstance with somebody, then it, you know it just helps if uh, it just helps if you get to know each other a little bit first. Having gotten to know you at some level, at least on a red carpet level, and seeing Jonah the character, it feels like you guys couldn't be any more opposite. How do you create Jonah? How did you create Jonah from the onset to to become the clumsy, funny, out of control mess that he's become? Uh, well, it was it was kind of there. It was there in the script, and then I just. I feel like maybe I just tried to make it as creepy as possible. Best word. And I think it, so there is the creepiness and then I think there is just like that air of um, like the, the invincibility of it, like somewhere in his history and it was kind of revealed in season three, but ever since the beginning, it just always seemed like no matter what, you weren't gonna be able to fire him, which kind of gives him a little bit of license to say, I'm just gonna behave this way and there will be no there will be no ill effects for me. Does that make sense? It does. And you, yeah. speaking of making sense, you have some exciting projects coming up, I see. Tell me about what's coming up for you outside of Eve. Uh, I am going to be in, I just finished up a movie called uh, Michelle Darnell. It's a Melissa with, McCarthy with movie. Matthew, yeah, Melissa McCarthy. With Melissa McCarthy and her husband, Ben Falcone, is directing it. Them. And I am playing uh, Peter Dinklage's idiot brother. No way. Yeah. That's and awesome. he's fantastic, man. That was so Dude, congrats. Fun. You're awesome, man. Thanks.